Why? Is there someone with an issue with me in the department? Minister of Higher Education, Science and Technology, Bladen Zimande, is unhappy with the lack of media attention he gets from his department. In this leaked audio, Zimande speaks to his communications team, including Director General Ngosinati Sishi, Deputy Director Lakema Sugu, and Spokesperson Ishmael Nisi. I am never covered live by the DHET world. Never, ever. Yet, I am the chief spokesperson of both the Department of Science and Innovation and the Department of Higher Education and Training. Now, I wanted an explanation here today as to why is that the case. Friday was worse. In fact, Friday was embarrassing. We had this big program. That was a massive program. We were launching a computer media lab. It's the second that we are launching in the country. The first one that we launched won an international award. Here I am. I'm the chief spokesperson of the Department of Higher Education and Training. Now, I'm not in competition, DG. But what does, what? well, there was a mistake that we will sort out on our own. We should never, ever again in future have any function competing with the minister's function even if it's the deputy minister. That we should not allow, or the DG. I don't have a problem if the DG has a function or the DM has a function and is covered, it should be so. But you can't be having a minister speaking right in the middle of my speech because I had already warned my office. I said, okay, when I start speaking, please go to the DHT wall right at the same time. Who is on the DHT wall as I'm speaking is the DG. I don't have a problem, DG, with you being covered. But here I'm speaking the DG. And what the DHT wall is doing is interchanging between the DG and the Deputy Minister. I wasn't covered on Friday by the DHT. And it's not the first time. It's not the first time. It always, in fact, in many instances, I'm speaking there. The DM is speaking there. It's covering the DM. In essence, what the communication is doing also is causing a tension between myself and the DM, deliberately, by doing so. Now, it looks like the reason why I have said, like, you must also call your team members is because they must understand. I don't carry this around. I'm the executive authority of this department. Nobody else. Myself, that's the task I've been given. Excellent, excellent program. My office did very well. But here's my DHT wall, does what it always does, doesn't cover the minister. Now, I want to know why. But I want to know why. Why? I'm not someone who carries out my authority around. I never do that. I respect people. But DG, surely it can't be that all the things I want done, I have to complain as a minister. I can't complain now. Other ministers don't do that. They fire people, actually, or remove them to other places if they are not doing their work. Now, I don't understand why things like this for what the HET, I must cry and complain and so on. It's wrong what happened. And I want to know why, because it was a continuation of something that happens all the time. It can't be somebody's choice who just chooses whether I will show the minister or not. No one in this department has a right to say, I will show or not show the minister. That person does not belong to this department. I can't continue like this, and this thing needs to be addressed. Because my worry, DG, is that this thing is going to pit myself against the DM or even yourself sometimes. Now, Lucky? Yes. No, DG? I really do need an explanation. That's why I said I don't want this going backwards and forwards. Yes, why is this thing happening? Why? Is there someone with an issue with me in the department? Is there someone who doesn't understand that I'm the chief spokesperson and that they Whatever they are doing, you are serving me, and in that way you are serving President Ramaphosa as the chief government spokesperson.
Tsimande has also accused his deputy Budimana Mela of hawking the limelight and relegating him to the sidelines in public engagements. He is angry with Manamela for holding events and meetings without informing him, even inviting President Sir Ramaphosa without Tsimande's knowledge. Read the full story in the Sunday Times. I am Bulelani Nonyukela.